Welcome to the Shine Your Light Network with host and founder, Robin Nicole. And I believe that we all have something special inside of us. And if we go deep into our heart and find out what makes our heart sing, we end up finding little sparks of light, joy, and passion. Once you find that spark, that passion inside of you, I believe it's our job to go out into the world and shine our light as bright as possible. When you do this, the whole world shines along with you and you begin to make a difference, make a change in a positive way. This is what the Shiny Light Network is all about. I have been guided to go out into the world and find the people that are doing it that have found out what makes their heart sing and are following their inner guidance. Because what I have learned, if you surround yourself with those who are out there manifesting their dreams, the people who are uplifting and empowering themselves and others, that they tend to lift you up and help you go inside and find your passion. They spark something inside that can help you begin to follow your dreams. Here on the Shine Your Light Network, you will find inspiring and uplifting conversations along with special video blogs from my heart to yours. Please take whatever resonates and let the rest fall away. dear beautiful beings of light I'm coming to you today on March I think what day is today March 2nd 2022 and I have been trying to come to you since um, February 28th I think yes since Monday I this is Wednesday and I had been trying to come and do a video blog for you guys and um, I was finding it difficult for myself to be able to do it because of um, I found myself in the middle of the collective fear over what is happening in our world. And I hadn't even been like uh, watching the news or anything. All I could, I, I just woke up on Monday morning and I decided I was going to go for a swim and I pulled some cards and I thought, you know what, I'm going to. I'm going to take um, some time today and do a video blog. And so I thought, what do you want me to talk about? And so I pulled some cards from my Oracle decks. I used the, the Lemurian Star Child and the um, a couple of my shamanic decks. And um, so what happened was I pulled, the first card that I pulled was Heaven on Earth. All are invited to 5D dimension, new earth, spirit, and matter. So I, I chose that card. And I didn't have an idea what this was all about at the time. And then um, Sacred Mountain, Vision Quest, Clarity, and Truth, Shambhala, and a deep healing. And so um, I still hadn't known what was going on. And then, um, and then I chose the card called The Journey. And I just want to read to you what the journey says. So it says, The time to embark on the great journey is here. Do not linger in in the port when distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you will be led true, even when you are not sure of where you are going. It is the departure that is most important. If you miss the boat, a great opportunity will be lost, and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. And I thought to myself, what is this all about, you know? And I think that what they were trying to say in the situation, because I I I gathered all the cards, and then I also got the Dragon's Horde card, and I thought, we're going to go to the Dragon's Lair again today? What's going on? And, um, so I, 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 I kind of went for a swim and I couldn't get this like 
fear out of like this awful collective fear that I didn't know what it was, but I just felt awful. I like literally felt awful and I was like, there's no way I can do a video. There's no way I can like take these people to like some sacred mountain. <laughs> there was no like, how am I going to do a deep healing and everything? And um, so Monday was just kind of like, I, it got so bad, like towards the end of the day that I had to go to bed early because I got a really bad sinus infection and my head was like pounding and I couldn't keep my eyes open and I started getting like an auric migraine and it was just this all this like energy and I was like this energy and this I don't know like this awful fear and I was like so anxious and so like upset and then I went to sleep and uh, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning and I was so anxious and I was anxious about things that I normally wouldn't be anxious about. I was really worried about my kiln for some reason, my ceramic kiln. <laughs> I was really worried because like it hasn't been firing properly and I was worried like am I going to be able to run our business because like the, we need the kiln to work and so I was really worried and so I was like for like an hour I was like just like overly anxious about like I can't do a glaze firing anymore and what am I going to do I can't create anything that needs a glaze firing um I can't have any parties that need like we do like these hen and bachelorette they're they're like a hen party but they're like a bachelorette party if you're in the United States and so like we do like this activity where um the the girls come and they um end up glazing a set of dishes a set of ware for the bride and I had had a call that day asking if they could if someone they were wondering if they could do one of these hen parties and I was like freaking out in my head like at three o'clock in the morning going my kiln won't fire up for a glazed fire anymore what can I do like um what am I gonna do I'm gonna have to tell them that we can't do this and I was just like this, the pit in my stomach like was I was just like all oh, like so upset like and then I started getting anxious about like um I started worrying about what was happening in the world and I started getting anxious about the um the cost of fuel <laughs> and I was worrying like what if the fuel costs so much that like we can't even like drive our car anymore and then I was like thinking I was hoping maybe I'd get a bicycle <laughs> I don't know I was like there was just so much worry going on in my head um over this collective fear that was going on and I was so anxious and um and so finally and the, at the end of the day like yesterday so I went back to bed I, my husband was in an awful mood because I was up bawling crying about the kiln and like he's like there's nothing we can do about it we'll just um we'll just work around it and when if the kiln goes it goes you know like there's nothing we can do about it we'll it like we're not getting a new one <laughs> you know like we're just going to wait until like and we're just going to go send the kiln some love and just keep asking it to keep doing what it needs to do for as long as we need it to keep going and stop worrying about it. The world's not going to come to an end if the kiln isn't working anymore. And so he was just kind of getting upset with me because I was just like, blah, blah. I was like crying and I was like, the world is coming to an end. And what if this guy hits the button? And then we're like all like annihilated and he's like don't worry if he hits the button then you're not going to be here to <laughs> to worry about it so he's just kind of like and so and then um, I was still just so anxious I couldn't do anything I've been working on uh, building a new um, website for the shine your light network it's going to be it's called shine your light network.org and I'm building a directory inside of there so like all the people that I interview are going to be in this directory and so that people can find them so when they come on to the the shine your light shows and I you know talk to them and everybody and if you feel like you're like like you feel like maybe you might connect to a person or you want to like get to know them a little bit more I'll be putting in like this directory so that you can like find this person and so I I've been working on that and I'm trying to get it up and running and I couldn't even focus on that. 
I couldn't get any work done. I couldn't make a video vlog or nothing. And so finally I, I did call a friend and I had a friend kind of like did a, like a little session for me and reminded me about mind alchemy, which is what I teach in the master classes. And I have another master class coming up on Sunday and I still haven't had a chance to even tell anybody that it's happening because I w I've been so like caught up in all of this. So I will put a little thing at the end um, so you can kind of know about the new masterclass that's coming up as well. But um, if you, in case you want to be part of it, but like I, in the masterclasses so far, we've been talking about mind alchemy and about like your thought forms and your thought patterns and how, when, what you think you can create. And so the more that you like think negative thoughts, the more you're going to create it. And so you need to use like, um, gratitude and changing your thought patterns and everything and just it's mind alchemy and um so in this um when my friend helped me and did this kind of like set aside and did kind of like a reading for me she reminded me that you need to um watch your thoughts and you need to think about you remember because i used i used to watch lisa nichols all the time and just remember what lisa always says and um, about your mind and your thought patterns and and turn this around and so I felt a little bit better yesterday evening and I was able to like do the dishes and able to like you know clean up a little bit and then I in the middle of the night I started getting um, all this stuff coming in from the dragons and um, Around three o'clock in the morning, I was like, I think maybe I will go and um, I will I will go do a meditation for you guys. And um, and then I was like, no, you should just get some sleep because last night you were up crying and, and everything. So maybe you should just get some sleep. So I got some sleep and then I had this plan that I would go into the sauna and I would record um, the... I would record the meditation in the sauna with the dragons and um, go to the dragon's lair and see what they have for us because they were showing me like some of the coolest things and that they had a gift for us inside the dragon's lair for the whole collective. And so I went to the pool this morning and um, I started recording it and I got as far as like in the middle of the um of what i was channeling the dragons and they had information and they were telling us stuff and then um people started coming into the sauna and so i couldn't do it and so then i waited for them to leave and i went out and i soaked into the water into the pool because so i was getting really hot and um i went back up to do one last try and um I was unable because by the time I sat down, somebody else came into the sauna and I wasn't able to do it. And finally, I just said, I'll just have to do it at home. So when you listen to this, when you listen to the meditation, I had to like start and stop. And so I will edit. I have to do some little bit of editing and um, I'll get it all edited up for you guys so that it's like one smooth um, meditation. And it's like a little journey into the dragon slayer um, to help everybody. So what this is doing is what this what what this is is like something that I can do to help everybody because we are like the world that what I've been what I was being shown last night in my dream was like a balancing stick. Okay, let me see if I can get a balancing. I'll just get a pen. Okay, so we have a balancing stick, right? And normally like light workers and everybody just everything kind of like we try to keep this balance and um, at the moment the balance is tipping down like this and there's less and less people that are holding the light and so what they're what they were showing me was we need because there's this collective fear and it's like taking over everybody and so in order to counteract that we need to get rid of that is we need to get as many 
people back holding the light so that we can we can keep this we can keep this balanced so that it doesn't take us over because if the if that fear goes too far down it can take you over but what you think about you bring about and the more you focus on it so they were showing me um to kind of advise people really there's no need to sit around watching this live 24-hour footage about what's happening because it's only just going to hold your fear level down to a point where you're not going to be able to cope. And so just try to try to stay away from it as much as possible and um, try to hold your light through this chaotic time. And so um, that's what the whole the whole message was and so I hope you really enjoy this so I'm going to put it up now and um, it was I had to record it audio so I'm just going to just put a picture of my dragon um, guide which is one of my pieces of art that I created it's a limited edition um, tile that I made let me see if I can I'll hold one up here so it's this piece of artwork, and um, I do have it for sale in regular and miniature if anybody's interested. Um, I haven't really been showing people my artwork lately, but this is the one about the Dragon Guide, and um, it has light codes and everything inside of it that will help you um, stand in your power and will help you be able to hold the light. And so I'll be putting that up in the background of the video so that you can, um, you know, take in the keys and the codes if you're not having your eyes closed. So I'm going to end it here and I'm going to send you much love. And I would um, like it if you could please put into the comments on the YouTube channel, please put into the comments um, how you're feeling and if this um, meditation helped you at all whatsoever because I'm doing this to help you guys um, not just for myself but for everybody out in the world and I love you all and I'm gonna leave it with that and um, if you're interested in coming to my master class master class number three it's happening on March 6 it's a Sunday this Sunday March 6 at 1 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. GMT and um, I will put a link in, in this description of this video. So if you're interested, you can come over and uh, be part of it because it is private and it is online. And you're going to need to get the Zoom, the Zoom link and everything. So I'm sending you much love and much light. And I hope you enjoy the visit into the Dragon's Lair today. So as... I start today I'm going to do this with the intention that we will be able to rid ourselves from the collective fear that's happening in our world so that we can move forward and keep shining our light and making differences in the world. going to sit and rest and see what comes through. And connect. Immediately I'm being taken and connecting to the energy of the dragon, the energy of the dragon guide. And they're telling us that every single one of us has a dragon aspect, a dragon guide, spirit guide, 
And they're always here, always here to protect, to help us stand in our power. And always here to help us release overwhelming feelings of sensitivity. In front of me, I'm seeing a group of dragons, a dragon collective. And they're always there to connect. They're beckoning us today to go with them, to hop on the back of a dragon, as they want to take us to their world, to their realm, to help us. As we ride on the back of our dragon, as he or she flaps the great expansive wings, and our hair and our clothes sway in the breeze from the flight of the dragon. They're taking us somewhere to a series of mountains and as we circle around the mountain top we see there is an opening as there is a volcano inside this mountain it is not active. So we fly into the mountain, knowing that we're fully and completely protected. We are being taken to the dragon's lair, the dragon's horde. And today it's a collective, a collective dragon's horde. A place where we are all going to get one collective spiritual tool to help us. Oh, 
The dragons are here, dear ones. The dragons are here. We are here to help. We're here to help. Lailana. Oyanakaya. Dear ones, dear ones, dear ones of the planet Earth, Unaka, you, dear ones, are so, so loved. We see what is happening on your Earth and we want to help. We want to help. But the balance, the balance, dear ones, has shifted. The collective balance has shifted to that of fear. The balance, dear ones, in your world is dipping into fear and when this happens we your guides the dragon guides your spirit guides all of your guides that you have cannot help you when you're immersed in fear So we would like to help you release this fear, this collective fear, to bring back the balancing stick to that of love, light, and compassion. To do this, you need to detach from the fear, dear ones. Detach from the news. Detach from everything that is spewing out this fear in your mind. It's in your mind. When you learn, you learn from the emerald tablets. You learned that you need to change your thinking patterns, your mind. You need to bring your mind, your thoughts back into alchemy. To do this, we must burn the fear. But you need to feel this fear in between your bones before we burn it up. So start to think about the way that you are feeling from this collective fear-based information. Yanatata that is coming through your vessel. Some of you, some of you are frightened by what is happening in your world. We're seeing this. The things, let's look and see. What is scaring you the most? Is it the threat of the economy? The 
the fuel prices, the cost of living, in the tatana, in the yana, or in the natiana. Is it the fear for a loved one who is in the middle of the war zone? Yana takiana, yana tatiana. Fear for our children, and the children that are being made to sacrifice their lives to go in on both sides of the fence, yana takiana, tiana, tiana, te 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 Is it the fear of nuclear threat? All of these, all of these fears that you are feeling as a collective. Are and can be feeling real to you. We cannot help you until you allow yourself to release the fear. And in order to do that, you need to feel this fear. Whatever it is that's sitting in the pit of your stomach. and face it for a moment. Feel this fear. Even if it feels uncomfortable. Even if it makes you feel like you want to vomit. Hold it, hold it in between your hip bones, hold this fear just for one more moment. Time to release this fear. This collective fear that is residing in the pit of so many people, stomachs. This fear will keep you frozen and keep you keep escalating inside until you're overcome. If you would like this to go away, if you would like to fill yourself up with love, joy, peace, and compassion, you must burn away this fear and let it go Permanently, pull it out from inside of the pit of your stomach and hand it over to us, dear ones, and we will burn it up with our breath of fire.
It is gone, dear ones, this fear, this feeling, this awful feeling that was residing in the pit of your stomach. We now need to replace this and fill you up with love and compassion. In front of each and every one of you is a special golden egg. It's a dragon egg. A special dragon egg that is filled with liquid white light. And if you twist your golden egg. in your hands. You'll notice that this liquid white light is emanating out. Emanating out of the egg. Allow yourself to twist the egg to the point where the top comes off the egg. Look into the top of the egg. And you will see the dragon power symbol in front of you. It is a symbol with a circle. with a cross in the middle that has arrows pointing outward representing earth, air, fire and water. In the middle of this symbol There's a rose quartz love heart representing love, joy, and compassion. We ask you to place this symbol over your heart chakra. As we infuse love, joy, and compassion into you. We ask you now to draw this symbol over your heart chakra. We start by drawing a silver cross, top to bottom, left to right. A 
another silver cross, top to bottom, left to right. And to fully seal the deal, another silver cross. Draw it top to bottom, left to right. I'll draw a silver circle around the cross. And draw a love heart in the middle. Now we ask you to hold up your dragon egg and sip from the cup. Liquid white light. As you drink it, the white light flows down through your whole body, all the way down to your toes. And all the way down past your feet to your earth star chakra six inches below your feet. We ask you now to pull this liquid light all the way back up, 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 up through your crown. way up to your soul star chakra and then allow this liquid light to extend all the way around you like a bubble all the way around your auric field Until this bubble forms around you, this protective white light bubble, we're sending an extra silver line of force from the dragon realm all the way around this circle of protection. You are now fully and completely protected. And you can go, dear ones, and shine your light back into the world. We ask you, dear ones, the ones who have decided to hold their light, to tip the scales, to tip the scales of fear and love, to tip it over, to help hold all of the world up. Know that what is happening in your world right now, 
will soon pass. Bujya natiyana tiyana tiyai kaya nariyana uya natiyana. Otayana, you need to trust yatakiyana that everything will be okay. Unatiyana tiyana tiyan chaya nariyana. We will not allow yanakaya natiyana or any of the other realms. We will not let any other form of of destruction happen on your earth. We will not allow you to destroy yourself. Because when you destroy yourself, you also destroy us in the cosmos. We will not allow that to happen. Trust, dear ones, that all will be well. All will be well in the Kiana. And if you find yourself in the line of the fire, you, dear ones, will be protected. And you will, you will be okay. And if this means, dear ones, that you will be chosen as one of the ones who will not make it through this time. You will come back. You will never, you never, your soul never dies. Your soul never dies. Do not be afraid, dear one. If this happens, know that you've done everything you can do. And you can come back. You can come back and do another life. But you will never ever die. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, dear ones. Do not be afraid. You are protected. The best thing you can do is follow your heart. Detach from all of the drama, all of the chaos that's going on in your world. Detach, 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 dear ones. As many times as you need to, do this procedure, use your egg, Yanakayana. This egg is given to you. This dragon egg is given to each and every one of you to keep yourselves in your power. Yanakayana. And remember, even if you are put in the line of fire, Yanakayana, Tayana, Tayana, you are always free. Your soul is always free. Your thoughts are always yours. No one can ever take away your freedom because your freedom is inside your soul. You were meant to fly. You were meant to be free. And even if the chains are bound tight around you they cannot take your spirit away all is well all is well keep telling yourself all is well keep shining keep loving keep in joy keep in pa- compassion have compassion for others for all around you and most of all have compassion for your enemy if you find yourself in the line of fire have compassion for the one who is on the other side. You know, Diana. 
This is all, dear ones. The dragons will be here. They will always be around you. Your earth is protected. Do not fear. All is well. In Masterclass number 3 of Bringing Forward the New Age of Miracles with Robin Nicole on Sunday, March 6th at 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. GMT, we will be covering the Hermetic Principle of Correspondence, the concept of the All, and we will learn about the Crystal Prism of Lyra and about the Archangelical Dimension of Lyra, along with a special channeled message from the Source Creator of the All. If you would like to attend this online private class, please click on the link in the description of this video for more information.